Alright, so we're back with the only game that specializes in turning its customers into sprays of red mist. It's Planet Coaster. Play game, damn it. Alright, our vaguely hipsterish Lucky Charms retiree guy is going over into the Alpine area because I have a new plan today. So the last time we had erased people from existence by creating a roller coaster that did, uh, what is it, 880 Gs? The one thing I've never done though is turn people into paste by hitting them with a roller coaster that goes 350 miles an hour. Yeah, you know what we need for this. I get the feeling that the people in the game weren't meant to be hit at 350, 60, or 70 miles an hour. So hopefully we can break something by doing this. Now you can change your park capacity. What's the highest amount? I want the most amount of living, moving targets. Oh my. Oh my god! Are you serious? Hold on. <laughs> okay, that'll probably kill my computer, but whatever, it's for science. I know that under all of the organs and giblets, there's probably a tycoon game here somewhere, but, well, you know, all that. I'd like my entertainers to be apathetic. After the amount of smears that they've seen on the ground from these roller coasters, I'm sure that part of their mind has broken at this point. What the hell is hard? Like, the janitor just got out of prison, or what? Oh, this is awful rather have easy janitors. It sounds like they're just promiscuous, but I guess it just means that they're better at being janitors. Work bot? <laughs> what? Vendors don't have enough- oh, whatever. Do they legitimately get replaced by robots? That would be fantastic. Mechanics should be grateful they have a job. Uh, <laughs> you can have blind eye on your security guards? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, what can this go up to? 500% perfect. I really don't mind having groups of vandals because it's just more targets to get hit by the A-10 warthog of roller coasters. You know, wider than normal path, just so that there's more space for the cart to go flying. Uh, for the surgery coaster, I feel like, let me see here. This one's perfect because it has the little scoop on the front so that all the organs can kind of go flying over the heads of the riders. God, was it just me or did this thing get taller? Perfect. Now for the first time ever, I'm gonna have to build a legitimate park area. We need plenty of guests to come in. Mmm, tiki chicken. It says chicken, but we're actually just using the pigeons. There's so many and they're so meaty. Hello there, madam. Keep smiling because if you don't, you're going to be replaced with AI robots. This is a very special park. We don't actually sell bottled water. We sell bottled vodka. It makes the impact hurt less. <laughs> First aid station. Probably a good idea to have one of these. This ride is called the Collider. That seems pretty relevant for this park. Again, plenty of ATMs. A lot of this is just for paying for the park. Some of it is going to be for whatever lawyer they're going to retain after dying. Oh yeah, now we're getting some crowds. This is what I'm talking about. Some people may look here and see money. I see blobs of organs that need to get hit with roller coasters. Don't push now, don't push. You'll all get your own opportunity to get beaten. <laughs> look at people shuffling all over the place. Damn, it is going crazy up in here. It's like the Black Friday of uh, theme parks. Let's get some princesses over here just so that I can get some groups hanging out by the entry point. There you go, madam. Oh, you can spam these? Get some other representation in here. There we go. No security guards, you say? Hold on, let me... Where's the entrance at? I'm gonna drop this guy right in this friggin' bundle of sadness. There we go. Go go take care of it, buddy. I'm only hiring one of you. You're, you're gonna get your pay, though. Look at this crazy glitchiness that's going on here. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I only have like two toilets over here. I'll put one more down just to let people have a place to wash all the organs off of them. See, it is a tycoon game. It's got me working really hard to get as many people in the park so that I can hit them with roller coasters. Princess Organa. All right, first things first. We need to see if we're in line for a beating. So let's go ahead and give our, uh, our thing over here the go ahead. Son of a bitch. Yeah, sorry guys. Um, <laughs> the track's kind of currently under construction. So, oh look at that! They didn't, they didn't fall off. They, oh, never mind. Perfect. There we go. All right. Yeah. Now we should get a pretty good idea of uh, how things are looking here. Beautiful. <gasps> oh my god! Oh no! I've got to give. <laughs> Stop the test. Stop stop the test. We lost the we lost our, our camera footing there. Hold on, let me let me get this set back up because it looked like people may have reached the moon. I think we can actually get this a little bit faster too. So I gotta I gotta go ahead and just change things up a little bit here. I've got the test started. Let me uh let's just pick someone in the crowd over here to follow. There we go. Right about here. <laughs> Right about here should be the uh, the perfect location for the best observance of whatever's going to occur. All right. Here we Damn it, we had a miss. 
Hold on, I see what the problem is here. Gotta do a little bit of an elevation, right? Like, oh, we can bring this, we can bring this forward a little bit more? Well, why didn't you say so? All right, here's hoping for a happy new year. Reaching uh, terminal velocity here. <gasps> yes! Oh my God. <laughs> why is this man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this this madam here, Tomasa or whatever the name is. For Narnia <laughs> I, I had to get into the into the interest cam to see what sort of height we're getting on these people <laughs> we're shooting them about. I don't even know. It's gotta be half a mile into the air, like a quarter mile into the air. Don't worry though. Kids are a lot like cats. They often land on their feet. So I think what you'll see is you'll find that she disintegrates. I'm so sorry. All right, hold on. I've got a, uh, I've got a slow motion cam ready for you guys once we get over there for the next pass. Here we go. Super slow. <laughs> I can't even get... It's so hard to follow because it's so ridiculous. It's like an atomic bomb going off when this friggin' thing hits. Look at what happens afterward. There's people just standing sideways. This child is standing on top of this other child in a show of triumph. All right, ready? Here we go. There it is. So what happens is it looks like it, sometimes it ends up running in to uh, the gate over here. So I may have to move this. I'm actually surprised at how difficult it is to make sure that everything is perfectly centered for maximum people explosion. Kind of just did a little, little adjustments right here. Obviously the crowd isn't too happy about all the adjustments, but that's how it goes. We're down negative $12,000, probably from, uh, like I said, all the injury claims that we're having right now. Yeah, right about 350 miles an hour. Okay, so we're overshooting it. All right, baby, let's see a home run. That's the home run I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> we have our we have our potential slow motion. Y'all ready to ride the lightning? You better be. <laughs> yeah. We get all the way to the entrance. Look at what happens when it hits the people at the entrance. Even those folks go flying a thousand feet in the air. <laughs> kind of a crapshoot. I'm just hoping I pick the right guy. There we go. It's perfect. This guy was wearing the uh, the orange caution shirt, but it didn't help him. <laughs> look at look at how many people. If you look in the distance, you could see all the flailing individuals in the background. It's like a flock of birds, except you know they can't actually fly, and sooner or later they're going to hit the ground with an impact that will most likely kill them. I still don't know what happened to that child. I feel like I need goalposts or something because we're hitting real, real good field goals here. This guy may actually go into the water. No joke, that's some good distance. Come on, buddy, I know you can do it. Just buckle your. <laughs> It just disintegrate into the ground. Oh, that's gross. Somebody threw up. That's not vomit. That's entrails. Let me just put some lights down here. There we go. There's your goal post. Let's see if we can get anyone through it. We're going for the field goal, baby. There it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, the two scorpions are fighting on top. That's fantastic. You can delete the supports and this thing still stands. <laughs> Whatever. Many guests are very unhappy. I wonder why. Probably because they lost 80% of their family. Sometimes I press pause in this game and I try and figure out what the hell's going on. Like this child has kind of melded into this man's stomach and I don't really know if he's about to slap the child off of him or if he's tripping over the child. Right over here, this guy with the Jake Paul hair, he looks like he was about to slap this lady in the back of the head, but we caught him like right as his hand was about to hit her. Anyway, you can tell a lot of the children are very happy here. They're, they're getting the opportunity to see what being a doctor is like when they grow up. Uh, but I think that in order to perform surgery appropriately, we're gonna need uh, some more tools. Sometimes you have to go into two different entry wounds in surgery. Hold on, let me see if I can get something. I have an idea. Eh, right about there. This wasn't exactly the way I wanted to aim this, but it kind of works, so I guess I'll just run with it. Kind of like that right there. 
I wanted to uh, I wanted to remove all these building pieces so that the uh, the entryways are clear for the detonation of people. And all that's ended up happening is now I have two giant scorpions levitating in the air as they fight to the death. I think that makes the park even better, honestly. We're definitely gonna have to see how accurate this particular one is here. Now, everything looks pretty good. Gets about to about uh, 350, 360 miles an hour here on the drop. And then it's gonna do a full spin. And yep, that's that's right what I was hoping for right there. The shop ticket Chi Chi 2 is still missing a vendor. I wonder why. Probably because he just got sent into a another dimension by the 350 mile an hour cart that just... <laughs> near his area. I could probably even lower this. I don't know. I think that looks pretty appropriate. I mean, there's a good amount of people there. That's for sure. <laughs> that's the double. I was waiting for the double. <laughs> uh, I could probably get even more here, but two is probably enough. I think if we bank this up even just a little bit more, maybe like that. That might work good. All right, right about, right about here. Should give a pretty decent perspective on uh, distance, really. This guy is still floating through the air. It's interesting that our different surgeries are giving people the ability to uh, overcome gravity, which I think is pretty nice. I don't know, I would trade it. I would trade a couple of my spleen bits for the ability to go against gravity. Well, that is a perfect swath, man. You can't ask for a better swath than that. Got double the, double the damage. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> An extra piece just came out of nowhere. I don't even know where that one came from. It was some sort of ricochet. Hold on, there's a couple of... <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry, everyone. This child isn't injured. They're just resting. They're processing all of the information they've been given today. <laughs> I'm hoping this guy kind of stays right where he is because he's in the perfect position to get freaking hit like a croquet ball. Look at, look at, he's, it's almost like he's trying to go straight for the dead center of the point of impact. Okay, everyone around him died but him. That is the luckiest man in the entire universe. This right here is a rare moment. I managed to pause it right when this lady, see, she doesn't know her husband is already getting a face full of metal, but she's not sure yet. See, she was looking the other way. She thought someone was taking her picture, but really they were just trying to warn her. Warn her about what was about to happen. <laughs> Look at the grouping. <laughs> We can see who else is up here with us. It's like migration, like when birds migrate, it's just we're causing people to migrate, the guests, effectively. And we are getting to the water. That's that's what I really wanted to make sure that we did, was the, oh, we got to space. This is where all the, the, the park goers are. Oh my God, there's like a thousand park goers down here just living in purgatory. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell happened? Did she get reinserted into the park? That's what this is. This is purgatory. You just die and then you're reinserted into the park over and over again. It's a vicious cycle of life and death. That's the symbolism of the two scorpions battling it out forever. No one ever really lives and no one ever really dies. Well, we did it. <laughs> My intent was to build a roller coaster that performs surgeries, but what we actually did was we built a roller coaster that sends people to purgatory. <laughs> and then they have the ability to just walk sideways after tucking and rolling. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Planet Coaster. <laughs> Till the next time, stay foxy and much love. One more for you. <laughs>